Hey CrossFitingers, we've got a nice couplet of weightlifting and running today in Tuesday's workout Space Cadet. The workout is going to be a descending rep scheme of double dumbbell squats with a 200 meter run after each round. So the rep scheme on those squats is going to be 21, 18, 15, 12, 9, 6, 3, and after each set we're going to complete that 200 meter run. We're expecting this workout to take somewhere between 10 to 18 minutes to complete. Some modifications for today. This is meant to be completed with two dumbbells, however, if we only have a single dumbbell, we're gonna do it as a goblet squat, but we're gonna increase the reps slightly. So the rep scheme for the single dumbbell goblet squat version is going to be 27, 24, 21, 18, 15, 12, nine. So it's still seven rounds, but we're adding two higher rep rounds at the beginning of the workout. If we're using a barbell today, we're gonna to load it with a light weight, 95, 65 would be prescribed in the gym, and we're gonna do this as a front squat. For the run, if we have a rower today, we're gonna to do 250 meters on the rower, or we can do 12 slash nine calories on the bike. Our pace on the runs will likely change as this workout progresses. We wanna use the runs in the first half of the workout as a recovery so we can stay nice and consistent on the squats when we get back to the dumbbell or the barbell. As the reps decrease, let's try and push the pace on that run, especially in that last round when we know the workout is almost over. For today's warm up, we're gonna put six minutes on the clock and move through the following four movements for quality. We're gonna start with 10 glute bridges. So with our feet planted, we're driving those hips up to the sky, squeezing the glutes at the top, holding for a second or two before lowering back down. After the 10 glute bridges, we're gonna stand it up and do eight reps of a Cossack squat or side lunge. So wide stance, we're just leaning out to one side, trying to get a little bit lower each time as we alternate back and forth, holding that stretch for a second or two at the bottom. After the eight Cossack squats, we're gonna to switch to six active Spider-Man. So from our push-up position, we're gonna step one foot out to our hand, drop that instep down, get a good stretch, alternating the legs out for six total reps. After we finish the six active Spider-Man, we're gonna go out for a 100 meter run. And when we get back from the run, we're gonna go back to the top, repeating those four movements for six minutes. For the double dumbbell squats today, we're gonna to th show three different variations for how to hold the dumbbells on the shoulders. The first is gonna be with the back head resting on the shoulders. This is gonna be the easiest method to get into, but you are gonna be doing a little bit more work supporting that weight with your arms. The second variation is gonna be having the dumbbells rest on top of the shoulders. It's gonna take a little bit longer to get into, but you're not really holding that weight with your arms, it's more resting on the shoulders. The third version is going to be with the back head resting on our traps and the dumbbell pointed straight up. This is going to be the most efficient version for taking the weight off of your arms, but it does take the longest to get into. For today's workout, it doesn't really matter which variation you use, whatever is more comfortable and easiest for you to get into. If we're using a single dumbbell today, we're going to do a goblet squat. So Ali has the dumbbell close to her chest with her elbows pinned allowing her to keep that chest up as she goes through that full range of motion. Remember for the goblet squat, the single dumbbell version, we're adding two higher rep rounds at the beginning, so we're changing the rep scheme slightly. If we're using a barbell today, Keith's gonna show us the front squat. We want the weight on that bar to be light, something that we can complete those higher rep rounds in one to two sets at the most. Keith has his elbows up nice and high, and as he initiates that squat with hips back, we're trying to keep those elbows up to help assist keeping our chest up through that full range of motion. Again, with, if we're using a barbell, we're going back to the original rep scheme, the same as the double dumbbell, double dumbbell version.